Happy February, Pisces Seeker. Happy birthday for some of you who are February born. Ah, the collective of Pisces. Collective of everything. Clear guidance. I'm asking for clear guidance and messages. Oh, that was fast. Hello, King of Wands. Aries and Pisces. Pisces, the end of the circle. Aries, getting of the circle. Maybe you should watch the Aries reading. I don't know, but the King of Wands is the first to come out, and he wanted to come out. He was like, I want to talk to Pisces. Okay. I know an Aries that tropical uh, western astrology Aries and in Vedic astrology is actually an, uh, a Pisces maybe I need to tell him to watch this video okay so the king of wands is here we don't know what he wants to say we just know that he wants to be around okay let's dive more into it we're Pisces, we like to dive. My Pisces is in, my Midheaven is in Pisces, and in Vedic, I'm just recently starting to um, dive into Vedic astrology, and I'm fascinated with it. So I'm going to start talking about it little by little as we go. I'm far from knowing a lot about it or even anything about it. It's a whole new world. Um, but I did discover that I have a lot of Pisces placements in Vedic, Mercury, Venus. It's so funny. Oh, the, it's interesting this uh, Pisces Aries axis because in um, in Western astrology, my Venus and Mercury are in Aries, and in Vedic they are in Pisces. And this is a Pisces reading, and boom, King of Wands be like. Hey, so let's talk about the end of the cycle and the beginning of the cycle. Pisces is the last zodiac, Aries is the first zodiac. Okay, so this is the direction, right? Right off the bat. Show us more. Spirit, tarot, the after tarot, by the way. Gorgeous, right? Should I, should I like cut this out? <laughs> or should I leave this? It's too comic at my expense, but still comic. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, a lot of cards. Like, a lot. You know what? I'm going to count them and see if one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to take them and this will be our reading. Just because the way it kind of dropped was like. Either Pisces really want to talk or someone really want to talk to you. King of Cups, maybe two people want to talk to you, Pisces. <laughs> or maybe this is you. King of Cups I normally take as Cancer, but it's a very watery um, card, so we can take it as you. The Tower. Mm. Let's do it as a clock, as an astrological clock. The devil, hey Capricorn, what's up? You're like, everybody's in the house, I don't want to come. Nine of Pentacles, money is in the house. The devil and the Nine of Pentacles together. Ten of Wands, I am beginning to like this reading and I am scared of this reading. Let's <laughs> Eight of Swords. All right, well, Pisces, we're not bored. Huh? Three of Wands. The world and the four of wands. Rawr. Okay, I have ten cards. Yeah, oh, so it was nine. One, two, three, four. Okay. I have to show you the table. I'll bring it back up and talk to you, but you have to see this. Aries was the first to drop. Then, King of Cups, Cancer slash Pisces, maybe Scorpio. This could be Sag and this could be Leo. But this is Cardinal Fire. And this is Cardinal Water. But just for the sake of this, um, you know, 
circulation, what I just said. The beginning of the cycle, the end of the cycle. Even though I did it like this. It's just really interesting. It's like it's it's I it's really like the the Pisces symbol, the two fish that are um, with the current and against the current, same direction, but not exactly the same direction because they're turning around in the same direction, but one is heads is up and one heads is down. So it's kind of um, a very interesting mishmash of directions. Allegedly one direction, but it's actually all over. Yeah. So seemingly one direction, but also like this. And, uh, I understand it in my head. You're a Pisces. You should understand it as well. I hope this reading isn't going to get really, really weird. But now that we looked at it, we will come back to it. I'll probably take out two more cards. Later on, first we'll address this. Can you, uh... Sorry. That's better. So, give me a second because I need to look at this. And there's also Cardinal Earth with the Devil. Capricorn energy. No cardinal air yet. So we have three cardinals and we have four fifths because in the world card it's like in the Wheel of Fortune. There's Aquarius, there's Leo, there's Taurus, and there is um, Scorpio. So cardinal and fixed energy are big on the table, and yet you are mutable. How uneasy does it make you feel, Pisces, when you are called to step up to the table and say what's up? It seems like all eyes are on you, Pisces. For better or worse, hold on, it's coming. Okay, I'm just going to say what comes up. Some of you are carrying karmic guilt. And you have been punishing yourself. In ways that weren't 3D cognitive. They were 5D energetic. Because you're so in tuned with your higher self, right? Your Pisces, that's your nature. So you have been um, manifesting and drawing situations, people that were, I'll just say, dark. They had an essence of taming your beauty, your strength, your talent, your craft, your wisdom. It was a very um, draining and kind of pulling down environment, energies, people. And the failures and traumas of your past. Oh, this is a very interesting reading. Okay, the things that I'm getting. Um, the failures and traumas of your past. Hold on. I'm just trying to sort it out. Um, sorry, excuse me. The failures and traumas of your past were your way, your, your energetic body's way of punishing yourself because the martyr in you, the Jesus in you, felt like you needed to be crucified in order to attain worthiness of your wisdom. Uh huh? Now some of you will sit in front of me now in front of the screen and be like, uh huh? <laughs> like what I just did. But the more you'll think about it and then maybe if you'll go to sleep and ask for messages from 
your dream or just kind of watch it again, it will start sinking. Now, those of you that are not, you know, the uh, shadow aspect of the Pisces, all zodiac has shadow aspect. I'm not cheating you. Um, shadow aspects of you would be like, ah, I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, people are assholes. I was always the victim. It was always so I didn't create it. I didn't want it. No, you didn't cognitively create it or want it. But something in your karmic footprint and fingerprint believe that that's what it okay in ancient times in order to reach um enlightenment with his satwas with his state um you needed to be crucified or go through torment or poverty or you know it was from the the martyr right the holy martyr the sacrificial lamb and you are Pisces, you are carrying all that. You are carrying a very ancient um, soul fingerprint DNA within you. You've been around, okay? Your soul has been around the entire zodiac. Aries, I don't think they're actually the babies of the zodiac. I feel like they're either um, like first reincarnation, which is not likely in this, just in this time of humanity, time frame wise. Or they're literally after the Pisces went through an entire cycle and now they're starting a new cycle, which would make sense that a, a current Aries will be in Vedic astrology Pisces. Oh, there's a lot going on. I'm trying to kind of, I'm sorry if I'm like. Um, so back to the um, you punishing yourself energetically and creating energetically, subconsciously situations, manifesting situations in your life where you were um, crucified, bullied, um, tormented, accused for no fault of your own, um, people seeing the worst in you just because they see the worst in them and they just, you know, uh, projected on you very similar to cancer. Maybe you guys should watch cancer because I have the king of cups here. Um, <clears throat> I feel like once Uranus leaves Aries and March goes into Taurus, I feel like this is the last month of you, February, I mean, really letting go of that uh, notion that in order to be holy you, wise you, powerful you, you have to be tormented and burned on estates. Because you've been caring, you were the witch that was hung and burned. You were the um, sacrificial lamb. You were the, um, um, the, the, the Jesus that is crucified. And, and you feel like that's just the role that you need to play, but no more. Modern times allow you to be wise and weird and not judged and punished for it. And you have to really dig within, meditate, dream. I don't care what it is that you're going to do in order to suck that shit out of you. Yank that, that out, out of you. Because you need to do this, Pisces. You need to really step up and lead and live within prosperity, right? Not lead in poverty, not heal from hunger, not from the void. From the, from the earth, from the passion, from the I have as opposed to I'm lack. I'm lacking okay the devil here is actually I like him here because even though he also represents everyone who wronged you that entered your life seemingly circumstantially and out of your control but energetically and spiritually something in you was like 
Punish me for being wise. Punish me for being good. Punish me for caring about things. No, I'm sorry, I didn't really ask it. I was just making, <laughs> I was just ex making an example. Um, no, 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 khamsa, khamsa, khamsa. Um, so it represents those, but it also represents the, the thing that you need to finally allow yourself to be, which is not a saint. You don't need to be a saint to heal. You don't need to be a saint to be great. You can be of the matter and of the earth and of the matter and still lead by example and still and, and, and still be qualified for your existence. You know, you don't need to prove anything. Pisces, you don't need to prove anything anymore. You're done, done proving. It, it's time for happiness. time for happiness there's more wait release yourself of the moral guilt of the moral obligation to suffer for humanity oh my god And for those of you who are on the surface or very like work oriented, success oriented, action oriented, you might sit in front of me and be like, but I, I'm not like that. I'm not, I don't have the victim thing. I don't do that. Really? Are you sure? Are you sure there's, is, there isn't something in you that always feel wronged, mistreated, blamed, accused, even though it's true? Circumstances show, fact, this has happened, this was done, this was said. But that is still your state of mind and you operate from there, something there in the subconscious because experiences and circumstances, even though they don't define us, they do affect us. You know, at one point you start believing it and even though you argue with it with your mind and you do the actions to show otherwise, something there is still like, I'm the martyr. I'm the victim and that just feeds that circle and creates more and more of that some of you towards March April are going to encounter major success could be love could be career but something big something good something really really good that you're really really worthy of and you are expected to release that notions of the sacrificial lamb and the saint and the holy martyr right now because when that great thing or great things will start coming in you have to be ready for it you have to be able to be like oh yeah that's mine oh yeah yeah of course of course you're giving it to me of course this is happening to me and not blink because you will need to really rise to the occasion and live it, live it. I'm getting goosebumps. I feel like a lot of you psychologically have been releasing all kinds of pains and this was done to me, this was said to me, boo-hoo, woo-hoo. And you're like, oh, I can't listen to myself anymore. <laughs> and this is not to say that what you felt isn't, um, you know, valid. It's just, it's done. It's not, it's not serving you anymore. It's not serving us anymore. Two more cards to conclude February or whatever the fuck this thing was. Please comment. Pisces readings are always so... Shazam. Okay. Pisces for February. Happy Valentine's Day. 
Speaking of love, um, the extended will be focusing on love. I'll do a special extended link below. The beginning will be like I always start my extendeds with the numer numeric energetic aspect of the reading. I'll rearrange the cards and have yummy and goodies come out of it in the extended. And then after that, I'll make a new shuffle, a Celtic cross um, for, for love. And then I finish up with a message from the runes, three runes. I will finish up now today with also a message from the runes, but let's finish up with the cards first. The moon. Right, just what we needed. Okay. No, this is your psychic abilities. One more card. One more. Okay. King of Pentacles. So you're going from the devil aspect of Capricorn to the King of Pentacles aspect of Capricorn. And we have three kings on the table. The only one that is missing is the King of Swords. We don't need to think anyway. <laughs> We're Pisces. We feel. Um... So you're no longer um, experiencing the world of matter from a place of guilt or, oh, this is evil. You are now stepping up and understanding, oh, this is earth. Oh, this is just living the way I deserve to live. Oh, money isn't bad. It's a wonderful servant. Oh. Oh, my psychic abilities and my intuitive abilities. I'm not crazy. I'm just cool. Oh. Okay. Mm. If you discover that someone in your life has either betrayed you, lied to you, deceived you, let that shit crumble and say thank you for the discovery. Some of you have discovered maybe in the past, maybe it's a past feeling that we're, that someone that you someone was using you or someone was abusing you or someone was um, taking advantage or lying or deceiving or hiding things from you and the discovery was very painful but now you understand the beauty of it and how miraculous it was because if you hadn't discovered this person all that then that person might have still be in your life and then the domino effect that came from that realization and how you've grown and how you've evolved and the things that you've realized about yourself, they were, it, it was freaking worth it, right? It was really worth it. So what felt confusing now feels so practical and you're grateful for it. I'm feeling one more. One more card to conclude Pisces. Three kings. That Those three kings are definitely going into the extended. For sure. Two more cards, okay. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Finally, something normal. <clears throat> Let's look. If someone prefers to walk away from potential love partnership to focus on their own issues, things, work, whatever, let them, let them, fuck that, enough, let them, anything that is um, trying to leave you right now, Pisces, let it, you have too much on your plate right now, If you're doing this, I don't know if it will be worth the while. If it will be worth the while, as you think it is, because love is the fuel of everything. If this is true, hold on to it. Did you hear me? If this is true, I'm not saying one of those destructive BS kind of stuff that you used to have. 
this is very this this two of cups here and this afro is one of the best cards like it's just it's it's fantastic it's very beautiful and finally mercury some mutabilism <laughs> if you leave something very true and very pure in your life for some BS excuses just because you want to feel like the martyr again one more time um, you might regret it but if someone is doing that to you Pisces just who knows maybe you're better off okay let's see your extended and then I'll pull out a room so we have the three kings, wands, cups, and pentacles. I'm not sure yet if I'll keep it. Not sure yet. Okay. 15, 16, 18. These are the majors. These are the kings. Oh, another major. <laughs> the world, the most important. Um, okay, I'm just going to address in the extended to the numeric aspect of 2, 3, 4, no 5, and no 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I'll really briefly address it, but mostly I will focus on this, and, um, and then we'll do a new shuffle of a Celtic cross for love. Um, but now, to conclude this February for you guys, whew, comment your thoughts, please. Okay. A rune for Pisces for February, please. A rune for Pisces for February. A rune for Pisces for February. Okay. This is Feo, and it's upright to be the letter F, but we got it in the reverse. This is the tower and the devil here. Um, so here's the thing, Pisces. Something may be lost this month, but I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I feel like whoever walks away from you now will only make room for something better. Okay? And vice of and, and the, from the other way around if you walk away for the wrong reasons if you walk away for superficial reasons if you don't listen to your essence if you don't listen to your soul soul's calling um if you don't listen to your opportunity to like to take an energetic leap and have a massive growth and expansion an expansion of your consciousness and tap into your past lifetimes and past knowledge and ancient knowledge and become that everything and earn you know starting a new cycle as a cardinal fire in the next time or even in this lifetime then you will feel at a loss you will regret it okay now and it's upright if you take the advice you will have everything okay Pisces okay I will see you in a second in the extended I don't know if I mentioned it but you can book a private reading with me below uh, link to the extended is below link to 2019 Ministress of Magic which is uh, an extensive yearly predictions I dissect the year by the months with um, after tarot but also with Celtic tarot with runes with I Ching and Akashic Records it's kind of cool um, and also uh, online tarot masterclass Bunkai the secrets of tarot you can learn from me also below and you know uh, follow me on instagram i'm there the existential shift okay i love you guys very very much i will see you in march for your birthday and stay fishy uh, yeah okay <laughs> bye